Ty Hartwell, your top seed this morning with that 158.85. He's been a 157.84 in his career. Turn that in in a bronze medal performance at the Australian Championships back in April. Aikens won the 100 backstroke and a best time for him. He's out quick yet again. 27.5 for Jack Aikens leading the way after 50 meters. His best time came a few weeks ago in a bronze medal performance at the American National Championship. 156.04 for Aikens. Drum in second. A revitalized rivalries. Drum and Aikens grew up swimming against each other in Atlanta. Aikens continues to hold the lead by four hundredths of a second. 57-53 for him on the way out. 57-57 for Ian Grum. Grum's best time, a 156-3. That, too, came at the American National Championships at the end of June. Third place is Hartwell. He's half a second behind the two leaders, Grum and Aikens. He's out in a 58-09. Here comes the final turn. Aikens has got the lead, and it's extended ever so slightly to three-tenths of a second as he goes a 30.02, a 1-double-0 in the middle 100 meters. And if he can have a strong finish, he'll be looking right at a 157 low, maybe a 156 high, but check out the finish from the Australian Ty Hartwell in lane four. He has found a completely different gear, trying to pass Aikens down the final stretch. He does it. And he beats him by a quarter of a second. Going to 157.82, a best time for Hartwell by two hundredths of a second. Excuse me, Aikens gets the win, rather. 157.82 and then a 158.05 for Ty Hartwell. And Ian Grum in third, 158.52 for him. Fourth place, Sam Powell. On a 159.86, just missing the best time. Landon Driggers goes the best time. He's done Zankovic's in lane two.